Gravitas, co-presented by Škoda. Kushak, choose what really matters. Shifting focus now to the United States, where fears of a shutdown are on the rise. A crucial bill which funds the American government has been blocked in the American Senate. But why exactly was the bill blocked and is a shutdown on the horizon? If yes, how will it impact the government's functioning? We break it down for you. Let's start with the basics. On the 30th of September, America's fiscal year will end, which basically means the government will be running out of funds and will need a new spending measure. With just two days left for the fiscal year to end, no new funds have been appropriated. Why is that? Because American lawmakers are busy quarreling. There are differences within the U.S. Congress over the nature of funds that should be allocated, something that has become a ritual now. But this time, things are looking pretty serious. Last week, the U.S. House of Representatives, where the Democrats have a thin majority, passed a measure to keep the government functional. They raised the debt limit by a vote of 220 to 211. For the uninitiated, the debt limit is a cap on the total amount of money that the federal government is allowed to borrow in order to fulfill its financial obligations. The Democrats voted to raise the debt limit. The Republicans voted to sustain it. The bill passed the House nonetheless. On Monday, the bill reached the U.S. Senate, the upper house of the U.S. Congress. Here, it was blocked by the Republicans. The senators voted 50 to 48 against the bill. This was way short of the 60 votes it needed to pass through. The voting process was marked by a showdown. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the Minority Leader Mitch McConnell had a heated exchange. Schumer accused the Republicans of settling political points, while McConnell accused the Democrats of moving towards permanent socialism. There is no scenario in God's green earth where it should be worth risking millions of jobs, trillions in household wealth, people's social security checks, veterans benefits, and another recession just to score short-term, meaningless political points. That's what Republicans seem fixated on doing. Democrats want to use this temporary pandemic as a Trojan horse for permanent socialism. They've all but said so. And that is what millions and millions of Americans elected 50 Republican senators to fight against. So now that the bill has been blocked, what happens next? The Democrats say they will keep fighting, that they will try again to get the bill passed. But with the fiscal year about to end and Republicans hell-bent on blocking the bill, their chances look bleak. Time is not on their side. Two days are all that they have. On Thursday midnight, funding for most federal agencies will expire. Several functions will come to a grinding halt. This will be the second such shutdown in three years if it happens. The last time it happened, some 800,000 workers missed at least two paychecks and went without pay for 35 days straight. This shattered the previous record of 21 days in 1996. Veterans lost access to care, essential workers were sent on leaves, airports faced delays, there were labor shortages. So is America headed for a repeat of this nightmare? Will it be the same this time around? Well, observers say it will be. Every essential, services, every essential service could be impacted from healthcare to transport, defense, housing, postal services, scientific institutions, all of them could suffer. And given that the shutdown will happen during a pandemic could make matters worse. But can it be avoided? Only if the Republicans and the Democrats arrive at a consensus, which looks difficult as of now. One way would be for the Republicans to agree on raising the cap on federal borrowing. Another way would be for the Democrats to drop the increase in debt limit. Only then could this deadlock end. Until then, a shutdown is all but imminent. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move. Gravitas, co-presented by Škoda. Kushak, choose what really matters.